But Can you describe the overall process that, as we saw it, as we witnessed it from up there on the catwalk? Yeah. Um, so on the hot side, you mean, or yeah, or just from the very beginning well, to the end? Well, okay. So if, yeah. I'll go. I'll start from the beginning because okay. I think there are some interesting things on the cold side, okay. and they call it the cold side because it literally is quite cold. Um, right. It's where they're uh, breaking down all the cuts of meat and grinding up beef, and um, and so obviously it stays very cold to keep everything fresh. But it was weird because we started on that side, so we started at the end of the process, right. and I think in the very first few minutes. Um, they had us almost essentially jump through um, a line of carcasses that were getting towed around uh, a loop. Yeah. They were kind of hung up by metal hooks or something. And basically in the first few minutes, all these kids, <laughs> all these students, um, never seeing a slaughterhouse before, were jumping or you know running through little little gaps in the line. Yeah, it was um, like they couldn't stop the process at yeah. all. And so if you wanted to visit, you had to dodge these huge carcasses. Yeah, so. and I think the, the <coughs> tour guide, he kind of held the carcass aside so that we could run through, but the whole <laughs> thing was so surreal, surreal I thought. Um, so that was definitely a, an interesting way to start the tour. Yeah. Um, after that, the cold side was pretty, like I said, very um, much like a machine the the workers were just each person had a task it would maybe be cutting this specific type of cut or um, you know uh, cleaning up a certain area or something so and they all had you know they were mostly using knives and such but they also had big grinders for ground beef so it was it was maybe what you might maybe kind of what you would picture when you picture a, a ground beef or a, a beef processing plant um, then we kind of made our way to the hot side, which was definitely more, um, was definitely hotter, definitely more noisy. <laughs> um, all of a sudden, it smelled just terrible, oh, yeah. um, and so that I think they did that on purpose. They had us go through the cold side first, and then they go we go to the hot side, which was probably harder to see, so they wanted to kind of slowly introduce mm -hmm. us, maybe. Um, so it's, it was like we saw the product, the frozen patties or the steaks or whatever, going out in very recognizable forms to supermarkets. Yeah. And it and that allowed us to see this good, nourishing thing that comes out of the process that we were about to witness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, I also thought, I mean, I don't know if you agree, but on the cold side, it seemed like the workers were, uh, I mean, everyone was working really hard, but I was also aware of how normal it seemed. I mean, as oh, you said, yeah. people were, you know, they were, they had these huge knives and they were carving flesh and there was blood and guts flying all over the mm -hmm. place, but um, it seemed controlled, it seemed supervised, and it seemed, it seemed antiseptic. Yeah, um, They also sterile. seemed like they were um, having fun in a way, kind mm -hmm. of like, what are you doing later on tonight? And, yeah. stuff, and talking about sports or whatever. Yeah, I think part of it is <clears> that um, the community that it's, that it, it's set in is very small yeah. and I know that the slaughterhouse basically provides all the jobs for the area or most um, so many people living there all are tied to the slaughterhouse in some way right. um, so I think it is very normal yeah. even before you work there I think it's very normal the idea of working at a slaughterhouse which to most people is probably like just horrible you know mm. no one I think most people would not want to work there but I think in this particular community it's just what you do um, it was like the, one of the good jobs yeah though. and it's also uh, I think it's um, if you don't work there where are you gonna work kind of that yeah. kind of situation yeah. Um, but yeah you're right it was definitely weird almost to see people just chatting um, actually on the hot side too I remember there <laughs> I'm not sure if you, you saw this but there was a man and a woman who were like breaking down a huge slab of like this was a this was before it was really in meat form it was like mm -hmm. a whole carcass and they were kind of flirting and kind of yeah. like he had a muscle tee on <laughs> and mm -hmm. kind of you know it was just it was the juxtaposition of the the two setting the two scenes was just incredible I mm -hmm. thought um, but yeah it was it, it in that sense me becoming a little bit des desensitized made sense because clearly these people it wasn't even like they were seeing cows in front of them yeah so can you just describe a little bit more the hot side and what that looked yeah. like? Yeah. Um, sorry, there's so much to describe. Yeah. Um, the hot side, I think, um, I can't remember what side of the hot side we started at, but I do know that we, we saw from the begin beginning to the end, so we saw, um, we went outside to the pens and there were live cows there, and then we saw them get lined up, kind of forced into this uh, 
this line that they kind of went through and one man would uh, use a bolt gun, I think, to, um, to kill them. Mm -hmm. um, and for the most part, it was very efficient. It seemed like they were always killed mm -hmm. or at least um, it seemed like it worked every time. There was yeah. one time where it didn't work. The bolt gun didn't really work and so he had to do it again or use something else and that was kind of uh, scary. <laughs> But uh, then they kind of just went through, and there was a lot of kicking after mm -hmm. death, which um, we learned about in the chorus a lot, whether or not we can really know for sure if they're not feeling the pain. Or yeah, so they're rendered insensible, but not actually yeah, dead yet. Yeah. And they're kicking, and their nerves are Yeah, responding. and I know there are different <clears throat> um, schools of thought when it comes to slaughtering animals, whether or not a, a, a bullet to the brain is what m most quickly kills them, or I know they're or other kind of ways to do it. Um, but it seemed like it was it was hard to believe that they were dead because they were moving so much. Right. So, and then, yeah, it was it was basically a lot like the cold side in that it was so mechanized, everyone had a task, um, whether it was skinning the, the carcass or um, removing the feet, you know, mm -hmm. that was kind of something that happened early on. So there were, it, it was, uh, the hot side was definitely, um, probably the most unforgettable yeah. part. <laughs>